adventure, bushcraft, and survival. Today, I would like to do a little expose or whatever it would have you on friction fire. It's snowing today, and I just want to go out there and get an ember just in while the snow is coming down, like right there. Because even though, you know, obviously optimal conditions are when it's dry outside, when it's wet outside, you can still get an ember. I mean, it's not going to, you can still do it. It's doable. We're just going to concentrate on bow drilling. This here, cottonwood, which is really prevalent in my area in the Piedmont region. Uh, we'll call it the Mid-Atlantic region. Same thing with the fire board, also cottonwood. And then I had, I've had this thing for so long, but um, my bow, if you kind of look at it, it, I, I, I call it the shepherd's hook, you know, I'm going to stop and here's, I've got a couple of different handholds, but this is one I actually made at a primitive skills gathering where um, I j actually just ground that out with another, the whole, the dimple with another rock and this is just soapstone and I kind of made this little handhold and I really think it's cool, you know, you know, see if I can make it happen out here in the snow and uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Okay. All right, so here we are. As you can see, it is snowing. And it's pretty wet. It's been snowing. It's been snowing for hours. And we're going to try to get a coal with our bow drill set. I have some rules of thumb. Think in terms of this. Like toy soldier, right? This is the motion you want with your arm. Back and forth, back and forth. So let's think about this. You see somebody crunched over the fire and they're sawing across their body. This motion really, really tires you out. Whereas if you're going this way, you could last for a long, long time. All right, so what am I doing first? I'm gonna kick out my set. I'm gonna do that real quick. And I mean, kick out the whole area. I, I don't want my bow bumping into leaves and dragging leaves back and doing all this craziness. I'm getting this whole site cleaned out and then I'm going to start doing my thing. And one thing that I try to, you know, make sure I do with my form is to create a straight line, right? Because remember, we're talking about doing this motion, right? So, and I'll kind of point that out as I lay, as I lay my kit down. try to stay over this because it is just coming down crazy. Gosh. I really feel like this is a long shot. But yeah. so here I am, I'm in a hurry and thinking, 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 you know, and I feel the pressure. Which you know if I was out of a situation, that's exactly what I feel, this immense pressure. But what I'm doing, you see, I'm making my mind, I'm, I'm taking my time. Trying as best I can to take it easy. And then now I'll just warm up my set. And there's a piece of snow literally right down in my notch. It's like, it's just nuts out here. I'm trying to protect the hole as best I can. Remember to breathe. Always remember to breathe. I'm going for an ember. I got it, guys. Oh my god. 
snow literally just fell right on my on my hand. It's definitely snow, literally snowing on my feet. I'm going to try to go get my stuff. I'm going to cover up my amber. It's going real good right now. I'm going to bring it up close to the screen in a minute, but I'm just trying to stay over it because, oh my gosh, this is K-Pak Mayan dust, which is essentially fatwood shavings, uh, some oakum, and uh, cedar bark. Literally there are chunks of snow like coming down on the end of it. So this is how I like to do it. I take the bundle, place it over top of it, then flip. That's the most effective to me. To really do anything to it, I'm actually really right now I'm just kind of chatting with you and just letting this thing happen. I'd be working on it a lot more if I wasn't shooting a video of it. But uh, that is awesome. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? I really want to thank you for watching my channel, for watching, taking the time to watch this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you would. I'd really appreciate it.